Hello students, today we are going to learn about e-class. We are at the peak of radical changes and the total reshaping of process what we call it as education. More programs and educational materials are available in electronic form. Teachers prepare materials using electronic devices and students do assignments and projects using electronic devices. All of these come together in e-classroom environment. As a result, it is important for teachers to measure the implication of e-classroom and to prepare themselves for unavoidable arrival of electronic education. In olden days, tools such as blackboard, slate and chalk were used for teaching. In modern era, these are replaced by high resolution video projectors. Hard copy of books are replaced by electronic storage devices such as hard disk, CDs and DVDs. The contents can be seen on video monitors and LCD panels. On the other hand, digital libraries are also available online. Writing pads and notebooks are replaced by laptops. Exam grades are published via online. Even the walls of classroom may vanish as video conferencing and the distance education break down the time and distance barriers. Students will continue to learn and teachers will continue to teach. Something cannot be replaced by technology. So, it is highly important for teachers to encourage face-to-face -face interaction, sense of group collaboration, subject matter authority and a group facilitator. Instead, educational technology will be used in classroom to enhance and facilitate the same age-old process of learning. The learning materials are similar in e-classroom. The contents will be the same, but it will be in electronic form, that is a soft copy. There is a no change in the content of book in the e-classroom except the mode of teaching. Beyond the glitz of technology, it is the hope of educators what will be truly different in e-classroom will be the solution to the number of age-old problems in education. The problems are lack of motivation on the part of students, lack of resources and materials on the part of schools, lack of specialized abilities and expertise on the part of teachers, lack of individualized instructions and overloaded teachers burdened by record keeping. The electronic environment has the potential to enrich educational materials by turning dry text into salient animation, vague concepts into visualization and rigid curriculum and bounded books by dynamically accessible resources. With the increased power of computers and networks and at the same time falling prices, the electronic media will make a available vast educational resources that will be cost competitive with printed materials. Here is the definition of e-classroom. E-classroom is a room which consists of computers and multimedia displays. The order view describes the electronic environment that supports many processes of classroom education. But to provide such environment, the classroom must contain certain combination of elements such as computer workstation for teachers as well as students, a multimedia system that capable of presenting a variety of information such as text graphs, animations, audios and videos, 
a database for electronic materials within the classroom, a local area network that allows communication among the workstation for viewing and sharing of screen images. And the last one is a telecommunication system that links the classroom with external resources. Let us discuss the goal of electronic classroom. It is necessary to provide an interactive learning experience and hypermedia technology used in the classroom. Not only that, it is necessary to increase student to student and student to teacher interaction and collaboration. The students are provided with integrated learning environment with access to hypermedia database, telecommunication and simulation. Let us see the importance of e-classroom in teaching and learning. Teaching without chalk and blackboard made possible through today's technology. It helps to improve in productivity. It supports both teaching and learning using digital learning tools such as computers and handheld devices. Student engagement and motivation are also important. This model links the teachers to their students with the professional content resources. The e-classroom as a part of educational technology eliminate the barrier to quick access to new information in the field of research. It bridges the gap between the rich and the poor and urban to remote areas to quest for quality learning. This type of learning creates an opportunity to teachers and students to use the educational resources and other technologies that can be useful to reduce the cost associated with instruction materials and better utilizing teachers time. It helps the students to learn things outside the school hours. It also helps to develop the mindset of the students towards positive thinking and quest for more learning towards excellence. Digital resources like electronic grade books, digital portfolios, learning games is a powerful tool for the teachers to teach in an interactive way. The next topic is e-classroom adaptation for children with visual impairment. Problems faced by visually impaired students are different from those experienced by sighted students. Most e-learning environments are designed for sighted students. It contains complex visual images and interactive features. Nevertheless, students with acute vision impairment are not able to utilize these features and must rely on applications to translate the contents of screen into forms that are accessible. Learning environment for people with physical disability needs specific consideration in design and implementation to ensure their appropriateness and accessibility. An organized classroom reduces visual cluster and promotes independence in navigation. It helps the students independently to locate and clean up materials. The design of classroom can be viewed as a tool to modify behaviors. The next step is to find out where and how the student could see properly in spite of conditions such as light, color, placement, spacing, contrast and size. There are some considerations that you must do when arranging classrooms to accommodate for a student with visual impairment. The key points to consider are determine the ideal position of student's visual field. If the students have an electronic magnifier or any other electronic equipment, they will need to be seated near an outlet. Any mathematical equation.
Next one is personal digital assistant. It is simply call it as PDAs. It is a small portable device for storing information with the use of braille or typewriter keyboards. The stored information can be accessed via three things namely a built in speech synthesizer, braille display or the combination of both. In the past similar devices were used and it is less powerful and less versatile. But now PDAs are used to store name and telephone numbers of a person, keep track of appointment and also for taking notes. In addition to these functions, PDAs provide advanced word processing and web browsing functions. No PDA with a screen has been developed for low vision people. So, low vision people must consider a PDA with speech output. Someone who knows braille will be more comfortable using a braille output device. Current PDAs are based on Microsoft Windows CE operating system. It is the version of Windows specially designed for handheld devices. It includes word processor, calendar, address list and email functions. The next one is screen reader. Screen reader is a software program that allows blind or visually impaired students to read the text display on the computer screen using speech synthesizer or braille display. Screen reader is the interface between the user and the computer operating system. The user send commands by pressing different combination of keys on the keyboard or braille display to instruct the speech synthesizer what to say and what to speak automatically when there occur changes on the computer screen. According to the command, the synthesizer will read or spell a word, read a line of text, find a text on the screen, tells the location of the cursor are also possible. In addition, it also allows the user to read highlighted text. It identifies the active choice of the menu. Screen readers are currently available for different computer operating system like Linux, Windows, Mac, iOS and Android. Mike.
The last one is optical character recognition system. It is also called it as OCR. It provides visually impaired student to scan the printed text and convert into audio format. Finally, it saves the file in the computer. There are three essential elements needed for OCR technology. They are scanning, recognition and reading the text. Initially, a printed document is scanned by a camera. The OCR software converts the image into character and words. It creates temporary files containing the text characters and page layout. An OCR system will undergo a spell check that the word TKE at the beginning of the sentence is a mistake and it must be THE spells the. A person who is blind or visually impaired can access the scanned data by using adaptive technology devices that magnifies the computer screen or provides speech into braille output. To conclude, education is the vital factor in preparing students to develop into responsible adults. According to Kelly, for all students, vision is the primary sense for successful learning and development. One of the main difficulties caused by visual impairment is the problem of accessing the information. E-classroom is needed to supplement the physical classroom for the students with visual impairment. Technological advances have created many products that are useful for learning and skill developing for the students with visual impairment. Thank you.